In the previous video in this series, we created a student's table. Now we want to expand on the college administration database and add more tables, starting with the courses table. So to create a new table, I go to the Create tab at the top, click on Table, and again, I'm in the same situation as I was before when I was creating the student's table. So let me just jump out of this video for a minute and create this table. I'm only going to put in one extra field apart from the actual primary key field that's already given to me by Access, uh, which is a title field. And this is just going to hold the names of the different courses. And they are all going to be of short text type. And let me put in some dummy data. I've entered in three different records there, three different courses, physics, business and art, and I can see the different IDs that the auto number field ID has, been, has given at those different courses. So I've got a table designed, I've got data inserted, last thing to do is just save the table and it will prompt me for a name and again just to keep the same kind of naming convention that I'm using so far which is all lowercase across fields and table names I'm just going to put in the table name courses. So I've got my courses table and I've got my students table and I'm holding the relevant information in both of those. Now the whole point about relational databases is, is that I need to relate those tables together. I need to record which courses different students are on or taking. And this topic gets to the crux of what relational databases are all about, relating tables together through relationships. And they are based not only on the primary keys, which are the ID fields in each of those different tables. So I see the primary key field in the courses table is listed here and I also see the ID field in the students table is here. But relational databases also need things called foreign keys and foreign keys are extra fields in certain tables where primary keys from other tables relate into. Rather than trying to explain it out verbally, I'll do it by example. I want to list what courses each of these different students are on. So, I've got John Doe, Jane Jones, and Keith Hardy. I'm going to add in an extra foreign key field. It's going to be of number type because I need to relate in the ID field of the courses table in here. So I'm going to switch this to number. I'll call it course because the number that I'm going to put in here is going to be the actual number of the ID given to each course in the courses table. So let's say I want John Doe to be on the art course. Well I remember back here in the courses table that the art course had an ID of 3. So therefore in the students table in the foreign key field course I'm going to list John as taking part in course 3 which is art. I might also put Jane Jones on art and then Keith Hardy I might have him doing physics. Let's commit all of those different changes. And that, in a nutshell, is what relational databases are all about. We as humans can see the relationship between that course field and the numbers in it in the students table, and how they relate to the actual ID field in the courses table. But we have to make it explicit to Access. We have to show Access that that relationship is there, because Access isn't a mind reader. So therefore I'm going to close down those two different tables and I'm going to go into the relationships view and access and the place to get the relationships view is in database tools tab and the relationships icon straight away because I've got no tables added in yet it brings up the show table dialog box I'm going to select both of those tables by holding down my shift key and clicking on add and this relationships view it's nice I can see each of the different tables that are in my database and also I can see all of the different fields in those different tables. Now what we were saying before is this is the primary key field in the courses table and you can see it's labeled ID but you can see a nice little key icon beside the ID because it is the primary key and this is the course foreign key field in the students table so I need to drag this ID field from there over to the current foreign key field course in the students table. As soon as I drop it comes up with an edit relationships dialog box and in this course I will always ask you to check on enforced referential integrity. It's not essential 
but we'll talk later on about why it's important and why it makes your whole database ironclad. So I click create on that relationship and if everything has gone well we should see a nice relationship there showing that it's a one on one side and an infinity symbol on the other and that denotes a one to many relationship. Common problems or alerts that you might find that pop up there. Sometimes Access might complain that the two different data types that you're trying to relate don't match. That usually means that the ID data type is often an auto number. The course uh, field here should ha needs to be a, a number as well, otherwise they won't relate together. Another common alert that often comes up saying that someone or somebody has locked one of the tables. Uh, that usually means that you have one of the tables open and just because it's such a database structural issue when they're creating this relationship between the two tables you need to have all of the different tables closed. Now that that relationship is done one way to easily check a one-to-many relationship is just to go onto the one side that is courses in this case open that f table in the datasheet view and you can see as soon as a relationship is created like that we see this expand indicators pop up to the side of every record and that means I can drill down and what I'm ask asking Access to do here is when I explode out physics show me all the students in the students table that are related to physics that means any student that has the course foreign key set as one and here we see I see that I've got that student number three Keith Hardy that was the person that I had assigned into the physics course and then what about art? I assigned two students in there, so I should see two students there, and I do. And I didn't assign any students into the business course, so I should just get a blank record there. And here is as good a time as any to talk more about this one-to-many relationship. If I look at the relationship view, from the one side, a course can have many different students associated with it. So one course can have many different students associated with it. But from the student's point of view, I can only put in one course number in the foreign key course field in the student's table. So therefore, one student can only be associated with one course. So a student can only be associated with one, one course, but a course can, can be associated with many students. And that's the one-to-many relationship. In the next video tutorial, I'm going to add in another campuses table to show or record information about different college campuses and the courses they contain. Essentially, it's another one-to-many relationship, but it helps us practice the whole concept.